Hey guys, thanks for joining me. So the team at Emuelic have released version 4.0 with some big changes. Emuelic is not just for the Super Console X. This applies to most popular TV boxes that sport the Amlogic chipsets. Also, a variety of Odroid devices are supported too. Unfortunately, Emuelic 4 is not compatible with the 912 chipset anymore. Pandora Emuelic users will be stuck at version 3.9. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Most emulators and cores are updated. PPSSPP, Outrun now displays the colors and reflections correctly. Duck Station's been added, and it is amazing. I was one of those who always hit the alarm when I saw people praising perfect PlayStation emulation. Playing Ridge Racer Revolution, PCSX rearmed would always slow down when you saw the chopper. Duck Station speeds along. The footage you see here is of the Super Console X. Dolphin's also been added. It's quite heavy to emulate, so the README states that you should only use the 922 chips for this. More ports, Duke 3D, Sonic 1, 2, and CD. And also a few others have been added. Hopefully in the future we'll see them add Moonlight or Steam Link. No longer do we need to use the network to add games. They've added a FAT32 partition at the end of the microSD. So all you need to do now is take your microSD and then put it into your PC and you can just copy across ROMs as you like. I tried updating MULX 3.9 to 4 from within the system, but it failed. To update, you should first back up all of your ROMs, then with Etcher or Win32 Imager, write a fresh image of MULX 4.0 to your microSD. Copy over the DTB file for your chipset. Once you've done that, insert it to your Android box, boot it up, then shut down. Put the micro SD back into your computer and transfer the ROMs back on. From the improvements to PlayStation 1 emulation, I can tell you right now that it's definitely worth doing. Anyway, this has been Emu Chicken from Pandori. Catch you later. Bye!